Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. This on the left is an Amatec tape drive motor. You've seen that in my last video. Notice the lighting is a little better in here today. This one is off a treadmill. This one is a lot less efficient. Um, this light here is 12 volts. This is why we have a lot better light. This one over here is 120. It's the only thing I'm using 120 on right now. And this one up here blew out. The reason for the last, the only reason why I got this one to my left up here is to show this going. Right now, I've got 24 volts worth of battery down here that I'm running. And there's my amp meter hooked up in line. I'll, rather than showing you that, as these things turn, I'll give you the readings. So you can judge for yourself how many amps or how efficient these two motors are. Now you can make a wind turbine with these. I'd much rather use this. But the one thing about tape drive motors is the front bearings aren't that great for holding the uh, stress of a prop. We're looking at a hundred and okay, we're looking at 200 milliamps right there. It generally starts up right about 130 milliamps. The Amatec does. These are wired in series right now, so that way they have the same exact amps. The wire goes through one, then out into the other one, then back out. And this power that I'm using is is coming straight from the wind turbine to the Amatec, and then to the treadmill motor, and then out of the treadmill motor, I'm going through uh, the amp meters and into the bat, uh, 24 volts worth of battery. So everything you see here is just excess. This one doesn't seem to really want to turn all that much. I can give her a little push start. And we can get her to keep going. I have to wait till the wind turbine picks up a little bit higher. There we go. We're looking at 160, 200, 230 milliamps. I want to get up there at least around 800 milliamp. That's when this one really starts kicking right around, right around 600 milliamps. And we got her started. Oop, it stopped again. Got plenty of memory and plenty of battery. I'll edit out what I don't need. Mm hmm. 200, 230, right down to 140. But you can hear the magnets passing the coils on the wind turbine. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and wire these instead of in uh, series. I'm going to go ahead and hook them up in parallel. And actually, we actually uh, we see a little movement off both of them that way. I'll show you. But still, the Amatec. Amatech rules as far as I mean, we ain't getting much response out of this at all. I can give it a push and it keep going a little bit. Okay, I now have these hooked up in parallel. That means they're getting the same voltage. And this one's going to draw a lot of amps. This one's not really going to turn all that much, but it will turn long before this one does. It's starting to turn. Or we just saw 200 milliamps there. This one's just dragging this one down. But this one's still turning. Doesn't take much. There was 500 milliamps right there. Not, not very good in comparison. Now if I take this one off, you'll see the difference. Well, if I do that. Oh yeah, that's, that's how. Let's unplug that. I can't do it with one hand. Well, there we go. Now we're running the Amatec only. You'll notice as it starts to speed up, this thing will kick. And if I hook it straight to the wind turbine, it flies. There we go, 200 milliamps. 
Come on, Wynn, pick up. I'm going to sit here all day wasting tape. Or shall I say memory? There's 230. 250. I don't know when we saw that half amp going there a minute ago on the other one. They were both hooked up. There we go. There's about 340. There's 470, there's 500 milliamps right there. It's a half amp. That's not much. And I'm telling you right now, that see, a battery has a resistance. And I have a set of batteries down here. Now this motor has a resistance. If you take the resistance and you divide it into the total resistance, you'll find out what percentage of the voltage overall from the wind turbine that this thing is using. So as the voltage is going up and down, the amperage is going through the uh, through the uh, Amatec due to its resistance and taking just a certain amount of voltage or a percentage of it. Now the batteries try to stay down at a certain voltage where the Amatec it'll float more. So that's why the Amatec flips, uh, spins and then slows down. Right now I'm showing probably about 20 milliamps. There's a hundred and right about a hundred now. It's zero again. But when it starts getting uh, the voltage starts going up higher, the Amatec will use the excess voltage. There's about 200 milliamps. It was not that bad. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Uh, glad to be your host. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and Amatech, now that I have uh, proved the worthiness and the efficiency and the great, uh, shall I say, value and quality of your motors, why don't you send me a few? <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Oh yeah, there we go. That's only 300 milliamps at the top. Whee!